I've already invested six hours into Assassin's Creed Mirage, and here's what I'm gonna tell you from me playing it. Obviously, we know Assassin's Creed Mirage is supposed to be taking us back to the basics with a focus on classic stealth and a smaller, more confined city to explore than something like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I am a huge Assassin's Creed Odyssey fan. I love the RPG versions of the games. I can say that I am enjoying myself in Mirage, but there are some things, obviously, Mirage does that the RPG games don't do. So if you're kind of looking to get a game like Odyssey or any of the RPG Assassin's Creed games, this one isn't really particularly like that. It has some similarities, but it's mostly taking us back to its older roots. So basically Mirage is set before Valhalla in 9th century uh, Baghdad. It's going to tell a story of the street rat turned assassin, Basim, and his early years among the Hidden Ones, tracking down members of the Order who are busy twisting the city to their own mysterious ends. Unlike Origins and Odyssey or Valhalla, Mirage returns to a self-focus we last saw in Syndicate. With players needing to blend into crowds, eavesdrops on locals, and find ways around enemies by doing more than just cutting them down in a rampage. Honestly, Mirage definitely does reward you if you are more stealthy and you do the more stealthy approach than, say, like an Odyssey or the other titles where you can basically play the game how you want. You can be stealthy, uh, you can go in there, swords blazing, etc. Mirage definitely wants you to be stealthy and you will see that when you play this game. I will tell you right now, the parkour slash the traversing the city, climbing buildings, etc. It does feel really good in this game. Um, I like it quite a bit. I think they did great with it. So it's definitely back to like its original form. So when you're holding a button down, you're going to automatically leap from obstacle to obstacle. And like I said, it was refined in like Unity and it, you can kind of feel it in here as well. I think they did a better job in here than they did Unity. That's just my opinion. So here, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you the few old tricks that they kind of put in here. Like I said, there are a lot of people who are a fan of the classic Assassin's Creed games. And when the RPGs came out, a lot of people didn't really care for those. I loved them. I thought they were phenomenal. They were wonderful. They had big worlds. And you could play the game how you wanted to play the game. If you didn't want to do a stealthy approach and you kind of got sick of doing a stealthy approach, you had many other options on how to approach the situation. And hey, we're going to kind of, you know, not reward you if you don't take the stealthier approach. But from my observations of playing six hours, I still need to play some more and then I'll update it again. Mirage does feel like a classic AC, but, but it does control like, say, Valhalla. You can run around holding a trigger in combat as the same like Souls-like button scheme as Valhalla, like light, heavy dodge, etc. And Bosom can pivot on his feet on a dime, which is great. I'm not gonna say I dislike that. Um, so pickpocketing is back as well, and they kind of redid their pickpocketing a little bit. They kind of have like a mechanic now that kind of helps you with pickpocketing. Or if you're just really crappy at seldom pickpocketing, you can go into your settings and you can turn it to where it always succeeds if you're having a hard time. I don't have a hard time because I like the mechanics they brought into the game where this little triangle Wait, comes oh. up. You see it and you have to hit it in the blue and then you pickpocket without anybody seeing you do anything. And what's cool is the NPCs do notice that their stuff is missing and they do say something so that's cool there's also a crouch button newer ac games they have this but most of the old ones didn't so like i said there's kind of some uh, familiarities in here with the newer ac games like the crouch button this does have a crouch button the older ones didn't and i think in a stealth game a crouch button is key and i'm glad that they added it climbing like i said and doing parkour is realistic again the RPGs simplified the version of climbing where you could grip onto basically anything. Mirage actually goes back to the old roots where you have to steer your way across handholds and you have to actually look out where you're going to go and plan out how you're going to get there first before just kind of like, oh, I can just grab onto anything. I did like the grab onto anything approach. I thought that was pretty cool because, like I said, you know, if you're struggling, it helps. But I, I am glad that they brought this back to you because it's a thing that was huge in the older ones. So basically, in the right light, Mirage 
I think it's a decent game. I think it's a 7 out of 10. I think if you like the old classic style, you can also do like a filter on here as well, which is pretty cool. I think if you like the old classic style, I think you're going to like it. Now, like I said, it does have some mix-ins with the RPG, but it does not feel like the RPG ones in the slightest. Some things may feel like that, but I think it's pretty good. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 right now. Like I said, I'm six hours in. When I play a little bit more, I'll go ahead and update you. I did forget to mention that Bosom definitely feels much more weaker than say, like, Alexios, but Alexios is a demigod. And obviously, Valhalla, we know why Ivor feels a little bit stronger as well. So it kind of makes sense, but I just wanted to add that in there because I completely forgot. Yeah, I hope I could be of help. Like I said, I'm six hours in, like six and a half ish. So probably once I beat the game, I will probably update this on a more thorough review type of thing. But anyways, enjoy some AC Mirage.